hello in this tutorial we're going to be making this shifter for so to start start a new part file and um, I'm going to change the units to uh, millimeters and again if you're not sure what point you want to start drawing stuff so come to your sketch tab click the sketch and it gives you all your plans so looking at this we're going to start with this base so that means we're going to start on the top plane and once we are on the top plane we want to draw a corner rectangle something like this and um, add our dimension this is 32 and this is 51 and once we have that feature extrude up and it is going to be 16 and click OK so next what we want to do is um, we want to draw our next sketch on this back face so make sure if I go on my, click my front plane your front plane should be on this left side and come and click on this back face and sketch and, and I'm gonna draw a sketch and I'm gonna press normal to and press normal to again so this origin point should be on this side when you press your normal to because that's how we want to make it so now just draw two lines I'm just gonna draw two lines something like this I'm gonna draw another line over here something like that I'm going to draw a circle and my circle is going to be um, before we even add a radius to it let's add a dimension so from here to this edge is going to be um, 63 so we're going to add our equation 63.50 plus 63.35 divided by 2 so that's where that's going to be and we are going to add another dimension from that point to the base which is going to be um, 127 and it is somewhere up there and um, I'm gonna move just make this bigger and the radius for this is 41 so we're just going to since we only have the diameter now we're going to make it 82 and make this circle and this another thing we can draw is draw a line coming up here and trim this top part off and if you want to be specific so we can delete that and now add the dimension which is going to be 41 radius 41 so make this uh, line and this circle tangent to each other and for this one for um, we need to add this dimension so from the center point to the top is 9 so this line to the center of this is 9 so once that's fully defined I believe this so there is two things that I'm seeing here um, you can either draw this this way I don't know if this is curving up or if there's a line coming tangent from here up so you, you just have to like make the the choice so if you feel like there isn't a line coming up here you don't have to make it this way but I'm going to make mine with the line so if you feel there isn't a line um, just keep this part and just keep going on with the sketch so I'm going to draw a line there so a line that is tangent because if you look up here it almost looks like a straight because you can see that round part and over there it looks like a straight so I'm going to make mine with the line and trim this off and trim that off so I have something like this okay it's getting out of hand let me move it over here so I'm going to extend this to touch that and over here we are going to do the same thing draw another line up and trim the excess line I'm using the trim to closest. Oh no, not that. Um, trim this line, and for this one, I believe this is point is coincident with that edge over there. 
so we have a fully defined sketch uh, we can add more stuff so trim this part out and I'm just going to make this line a construction line because I don't need it and um, we are going to draw another circle and the radius for this circle and trim it up off here trim it off and the radius is going to be 29 I believe um, let me the radius is right here yes 29 so 29 again I'm going to add that line from the quadrant up another line here from the quadrant up and trim trim it um, trim that part out and trim this that out and I'm going to trim this out so we have a fully defined sketch now so all we're going to do is um, go to our feature extrude um, I need to close my edge so I'm missing the I'm missing a line so if you look at it I'm missing this line at the bottom right there so I'm going to go back to my sketch and close this off yeah. and now it should work so if I go to my feature extrude there you go and extrude it and we are going to extrude it 9 it is 9 so 9 millimeter and click OK so once we have that go number 2 and now we can click on this face first um, sketch and I'm going to change my image quality again because I can feel it slowing down um, okay so now um, draw two lines something like this and draw another line going this way and click this point and this arc and make it concentric and um, press this line and no this line and make it a construction line add your angle which is 30 and we are going to click this edge this edge this edge this edge and that edge convert entity and once you convert entity trim off the excess one so we're going to trim off this and that and this so now we can draw another line from this point here and just make this two line um, collinear so it's still the same thing and make that one a construction line all you need is just just feature over here so once you have your feature go to feature extrude it is going to be 1.5 in one direction and in direction two we're going to be extruding it 10.5 it is right here it is 1.5 in this direction and 1.5 over there since this is 9 and we're extruding it from here that's why it is 10.5 and click OK good so we're going to click this face sketch and we are going to do the same thing on this side so um, draw two lines and um, add your dimension which is 30 click this point and this line and make it um, concentric please excuse my phone and once you have that then um, make this line a construction line and again we are going to just extend this out a little bit and click this line this line this those edge convert entities and now draw a line coming down from here and make sure that line is a vertical line and i'm going to trim this off trim that off trim this off and trim this off and I'm going to draw another line and make sure that line and this is collinear 
I have a fully defined sketch, make a data construction line. We have this feature and I think I didn't trim this off. So make sure you trim that off. So we have this feature and now we go to extrude and the whole the overall dimension is 13 so which means if that is 9 this is um, 2 on this end and I'm gonna click direction 2 and it is going to be 11 so that is 9 9 plus 4 which gives us 13 um and click OK. Good. So we have that feature. The next thing we can make our countable. So whole wizard. Um and we are going to select the countable and select the position and select this top face. I'm just going to select that put two points there for now and normal two so I see what's going on and um, from this edge to that point is going to be 10 from here to here it's going to be 19 and um, from this point to that edge is going to be 16 and click this point and that point and make them vertical to each other so once that is done our point is fully fully constrained so we're going to come to the type tab select the counter ball and for the the small hole it is going to be 10 the larger size hole is going to be 15 and the dimension for it is going to be 6 and it is true all. So we go in true all and click OK. Oh, okay. So I think there's a counter sync here. So I need to uncheck that and everything should work. So you should have this value. Make sure the near counter sync is not checked and click OK. Good. So now we're going to select this face and sketch number two. And now we're drawing this feature over here. And for now, we just want to draw a three point rectangle, something like this. And now draw a center line, a line in the center of those and make that a construction line. And also, just to make sure, click those three lines, but make sure this center line, this line in the middle is a center line, and click this uh, symmetric. Because sometimes, if that line is not, uh, not sometimes, if the center, the line in the middle is not a center line, you won't get that option. And click OK. So that's just to make sure, and draw another line over here, coming up, and make sure that line and this is collinear to each other let's add some dimension and this is going to be dimension for this is going to be six and this line and this point is going to be co coincident with each other and now make this line a construction line and this point and click that point and this arc and it is going to be called centric so now we have a fully defined a fully defined um, sketch it's not fully defined but we're almost there but we got the basic feature and from why is my computer slowing down so from this arc to this line so click that hack, hold the shift key. So I'm going to try that again. Click that hack, hold the shift key. So let's cancel. And so click, holding the shift key, click the hack and come and click this line. And you should get that dimension and it's going to be seven. And this one doesn't really matter 
the one at the bottom so we can just let it stick out over there and make that 85. So you should have something like this and we are going to uh, feature extrude up to next. So up to surface so since we don't we just going to click this surface and click OK. So the last thing we are going to do is just now that we have the basic profile we can just cut that shape in. So click this face and sketch um, number two. So now we are just going to draw something like this. Draw a line coming down and something coming down over here. So we are going to make sure that this point and this line is coincident and this point and that line we can pierce it so I click that point and this line to put it in that corner and once I have that profile um, I'm going to add my dimension which is um, from here to this line it's 32 and from this point to this line is 9 and now add a line over here just to close your sketch and once we have the profile we just go to feature extrude cut and we are going to extrude cut in one direction we can make it 10 and once you make it 10 click this blue line and this in this blue rectangle and click this edge so to make that straight so once you have that so it should be going that it adds this arrow making it straight and direction 2 we can just make that 10 as well and click OK and there you go we have that feature and this part is done it does it did took me a while to add my um, fillets in but you can get all the fillets in so what you should do is um, now just go around and add your fillet your fillet size is um, two so just go around and add your fillet sometimes you might add, have to add it one by one or you might have to um, rearrange them but anyway it is going to fit so i just wanted to show you the basic way of making this part thank you and if you have any comment or suggestion or any other way i could have made this rib please feel free to let me know just looking to make sure everything is where it should be anyway thank you and i will see you in the next tutorial bye